What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we're discussing about something you should definitely do if you want a jailbreak in the near future and that is saving your blobs for iOS 15.6.1 because iOS 15.6.1 does have a couple of important vulnerabilities that were patched in 15.7. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files easily directly from your computer to your device, manage your photos, music, videos, messages and apps much easier on your computer and of course do selective backups from your device. Device. Check the program out in the link below. So back on September 12, Apple released iOS 15.7 and iPadOS 15.7, which patches a few important kernel vulnerabilities, amongst other things. And one of these vulnerabilities is actually coming from Linus Hensy, which is of course the author behind Fugu 14 and soon Fugu 15. Now, aside from that, there are a couple of vulnerabilities that are known to have been used in the wild, to have been exploited in the wild. So a lot of important vulnerabilities that could be used for jailbreak purposes have been patched by 15.7. That means those vulnerabilities are available in 15.6.1, which is currently still signed for most devices. So you can go ahead and save the blobs. To do that, it's actually quite simple. You can just go ahead and get blob saver by air squared here on GitHub. The blob saver application is available for most platforms, including Linux and Mac OS and Windows. So you will definitely be able to get it and then just connect your device to the computer and open blob saver. It's as simple as that. Once it opens, if the device is powered on, you press read from device and it will get all the identifiers necessary from the device. Now if your device is a newer model like the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, 12, 11, 13 and so on, you should specify app nodes as well and read it from the device. But in my case that's not necessary because this device is not a 12 or newer. So you're gonna press go here and that's it. This will save all the blobs for all the currently signed iOS versions which includes iOS 16 and 15.6.1 and also 15.7. The blob is then available in your blobs folder. It saves them usually in the documents folder in a blobs directory over here. You can use those blobs with future restore GUI for example. You select the blob over here and then your IBSW and configure the settings and you will be able to perform downgrades and so on if the SEP and basement are compatible. This is the structure of the blob. There's a lot of base64 encoded stuff but the generator is this one over here which you're going to have to set when you do a downgrade. But long story short, if you want to be able to downgrade in the future to a jailbreakable version, you will need to have the blobs. There is no way to downgrade without blobs. So it's a good idea to save them while the version is still signed. You should keep in mind that you don't have to upgrade to iOS 15.6.1 in order to save them. You can just connect your device no matter what iOS version it runs and you will be able to save the blobs no problem. So yeah, definitely save your blobs. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.